How's it going, everybody? Firewall5000 here. I thought I'd do a quick video and uh, just chime in on this whole uh, creep show art and alleged duplicitous behavior that's been unfolding. Uh, for those of you that don't know, creep show art is, I guess you'd say, a professional expose artist. And her videos, a couple of her videos were recommended to me, I guess, during the early stages of the uh, COVID pandemic. And I'll be totally honest with you, I watched a couple of them, and I really wasn't impressed. Uh, or at least I wasn't impressed with the person narrating the videos, in other words, her. Um, it seemed like the people and the topics she was uh, covering seemed to be okay. It seems like she was going after some fairly bad people. But there was something about her that just never felt quite right. And evidently, ever since this has all unfolded, that sentiment of mine was widely shared Anyways, there are some people I still see on Twitter and on YouTube comments that don't seem to fully understand quite how they were all able to tie this and trace all this duplicitous behavior uh, to, to her. Um, if you're not already in the know, she was going on a website, or allegedly going on a website called lolcal.farm, uh, and she was just... She was doing one thing on YouTube and saying completely different and, and pretty vile crap on, on this other website. And uh, anyways, it's a it's a community. This is a community I've never really participated much on. But given my past uh, expertise on network security, I thought I would just kind of like, you know, chime in and give my uh, my theory of how I think they piece this all together, tracked all these comments to her. So I've already made a little diagram here. I don't know how well you can read all that. And by the way, all this stuff I have written here, like IP addresses, cookie codes, it, it, it's all fake, okay? I, th this isn't uh, anyone's IP address in particular. This isn't anyone's cookie. This is just a, a demonstration for the video. Um, I can show you one way how this all could have unfolded and wound up uh, blowing up in Creep Show's face. I, I don't speak to any of these people, okay? This is just me speculating. This is just... Somebody could have emailed her, and she could have messaged them back. And if that had happened, uh, she could have had her IP address traced on her email. Somebody earlier was saying that you can't... Oh, you can't trace somebody's IP address in an email. And yes, you most certainly can... Uh, depending on what your email client is, you go on like somewhere here that says email source or header source, or I think some of them, depending on what the client program is, it'll just say source. Uh, but it will show you the the message in code form. It kind of sort of looks similar to HTML or PHP, but you're, you'd want to find something in the message that says mime-version. And somewhere near mime dash version, you're going to want to see this. This is the this is going to be the real interesting part right here. You see where it says received from, and it says IP version six, and uh, you know the version six IP address would be like a collection of both uh, numbers and letters alike. And then of course you got the older school uh, IP address, which is just numbers only IP version four, and that usually not always, but that usually will be the IP address of the person that sent you that email. And if you're ha and by the way, you don't have to take my word for this. You can go on um, you can check this out yourself. There's a really very really helpful website that I'll include in the video description called uh, iptracker.org. Um, if you're having a hard time finding that individual's IP address, you can copy the email uh, message in code form. And what it'll essentially do is it'll cut out uh, all the irrelevant information and it'll sh it'll basically zero in on the sender's IP address. So anyways, I'll include that in the video description for anyone that wants to look at it. So let's say, let's just say hypothetically, this is how Creepo Creep Show's art IP address was found. It's not the only way, okay? There's like a bajillion and one ways to find someone, but let's just say that was it. And let's say the admins at this website find out, oh, we've seen this IP address before, and they've posted all these nasty comments. 
okay? And it's coming from Portland, Oregon, population 655,000. And let's say that that's the, um, again, this is all fake. It's not real IP address, not real cookie code. But let's just say um, that's the cookie that creep shows on. And then they go and they trace it further back. Same cookie code, different IP address, but same cookie code, except this IP address is coming from Los Angeles, population of 4 million, okay? And let's just say, to make things more interesting, they've confirmed that during the timestamps that these comments were posted on, let's just say that, yeah, she was living in L.A. at the time. And then to make it really interesting, we trace this cookie code to, again, completely different IP address, but same cookie code. And let's say we trace it, let's just trace it to here. This is an actual town, by the way. This is uh, Alcova, Wyoming. And no, it's not, it's not her hometown, but let's just say for the sake of argument, this is Creepshow's hometown. This is where she was born and raised. Now, that would be a hell of a coincidence, now, wouldn't it, that a cookie code would be traced back over two, three years to her hometown of with a population of only 76? You, you see how this all just kind of like all ties together, <laughs> all ties together here? Um, again, I'm not saying that this is exactly how the way they investigated and, and tied this all up to her, but if this is how they did it, then I would say the case against her is awfully damning. So anyways, I'm a little over six, seven minutes into this. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But I hope that clarified clarified anyone that's still ha having trouble um, figuring this out. So anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.